Well, hello there. This is another game dev vlog. It's kind of weird hearing me say those words out loud. I guess I'm a game developer now. <laughs> um, not really. You know, I, I'm barely a developer. But that's, that's also what this series is all about. I'm not planning to make a video that has this clickbaity title like I made a video game in one week and this is the result. And as awesome as those videos are, let's just be honest, the, the, the games are not really good. You know, the end result is never a game that you really want to play. Instead, I want to give you a honest vlog of a longer journey. So I'm expecting that I will be doing this thing for at least a year or two or five or heck, maybe even the rest of my life. <laughs> so I'd rather give you like a glimpse of the real torture that is like game development because I don't think it's gonna be easy <laughs> not at all <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty hard but I'm gonna show you that part as well so I'm not even sure if I'm going to make weekly videos maybe it's gonna be bi-weekly and at some point monthly I've got no idea I do know that every time that I feel like I've got something to show I will make a video about it Last week I made a video about my 15 year old game called Aiden Jr. It was a flash game very long time ago. You can check it out. There's some footage behind me right over here. On Discord I told you guys that I will be diving into these three points. Make a 3D version of Aiden, download Godot Engine and do some first things like adding the model, water, an island and create a separate small mini game that doesn't have to be good but you know just to create a first game in your engine. I only did these two things because I'm not sure if I want to make a, a separate mini game just yet. By the way we have a discord the link is in the description below. We've got different text channels one of these is game development and every now and then I will post some behind the scenes stuff in it. For example, I found some more sketches that are not included in the video of last week. And those are even more ugly versions of the first turtle. <laughs> like, look at that monstrosity. <laughs> yeah, mind you, I was an adult uh, back then. <laughs> look at that. It kind of evolved in like just a year. So, you know, give me some props there, will you? That's like a giant ass fly being extremely annoying. Oh God, please die by natural causes, obviously. So I first started doing Blender. I have, or at least had, zero experience with the software. I only know it from Donny, my buddy, the Monster Maze, because he uses this, this program and I think he showed me some stuff uh, back then, like a Master Sword or some Zelda related 3D models. And I love it, you know, because, you know, I like video games and everything 3D intrigues me. But apart from that, no experience. So I really had to grind all the YouTube tutorials. And that's the cool thing about nowadays game development is that there are so many people on YouTube, way smarter than you are, explaining you smart stuff. So, you know, that's really a big, good, good improvement from like the early days. Back in my days, there was only incomplete and inconsistent, boring documentation, like letters and stuff. And I hate reading. I'm probably going to make small tutorials about this stuff because I really like to archive all the knowledge that I gain and make like tutorials by a noob for noobs. Those are different videos. Uh, there's one uploaded already. But the first thing that I did was adding reference uh, images, just like this. So you basically have a front view and a side view in Blender. And you can swap through it by, by pressing specific keys. With zero experience in Blender, I had to figure out the basics. Um, there are many ways to create 3D models. One way is basically by sculpting it, you know, pushing your thumbs in clay and just doing it by feeling to get to a point where you're happy with the model. Another way is to do it by extruding uh, boxes and move the vertex points, the vertice, vertici, what's the plural? Vertices? Vertices. Vertici. I don't, you know, multiple vertici. Ver Jesus. <laughs> You get what I mean by moving the vertex points that are connected in the face uh, to match your, your, your drawing. Let me just show you the video. I decided to do a screen recording when I was already a few hours in. Um, at this point I already added a mirror modifier and a subdivision modifier. I will probably make a video about that in a separate tutorial. Um, subscribe if you want to see that kind of stuff. So I won't get into the details. But you are basically still extruding boxes from a box and moving these points that I'm selecting right over here. I will only show you the uh, the moments where I made actual progress because the actual footage is like four hours long of me struggling to find out how Blender works. It already looks somewhat like Aiden's head. 
I had to take some massive breaks in between because all the newly learned knowledge was exhausting to me in a way. Like there was so many information that I had to read about. So these are recordings from multiple evenings. And as you can see, it doesn't, you know, remotely looks like a like a real character, but you know, this is my first time doing such things. So I was already so excited. So after a while, I added some arms <laughs> to the turtle. Look, mom, I'm flying. And I'm so happy that there are so many good YouTube tutorials out there. At this point, I was working on it for at least two evenings, I feel like. And I completed the whole model, at least the basics, all the arms, the head, the shell parts. And last but not least, the tail. And this was like the most satisfying uh, part of his body to model because it really showed me that sometimes 3D modeling doesn't have to be complex or it has to consist out of many shapes. These are just two parts with a little slice in the middle with a slight curve and that's it, you've got your tail. And here I am adding some basic materials to the model. Um, I don't think I will be doing this eventually in Blender. That will probably be done in Godot, the game engine. But at this point I had zero experience with Godot and I wanted to show some color. So I added some basic materials to the model. But before diving into all those Godot tutorials, I really wanted to add some bones to the model. Uh, in this way I could at least add a idle animation of the turtle, of him just standing there and breathing slightly. Because with things like these, like 3D modeling and game development, there's only one way to learn it, and that's by doing it. And it doesn't have to be perfect at the first try. It's basically impossible to make it perfect first time. But I at least wanted to complete a first crappy 3D model with a very crappy bone structure. Because I know that there are way more advanced ways to um, go about the hip structure and the shoulders. But my goal was just to have some basic movement something happening to the model just to see if it works and that gets us to the next part and also final part of this video and that's the godot implementation godot is the 3d engine that i'm planning to use um, i've got it all recorded or at least most of it but it's very boring to include in this video so i'm not going to bore you to death with that footage let's just go straight to the end result in godot rup, rup. Hey, voila Let's press the play button. All right, and here we go. This is actually in-game footage. I really expected this thing to be extremely ugly and rough. And to my surprise, yeah, it's, it's really ugly. <laughs> it looks like shit. <laughs> but you know, I, I, this is my first time ever doing things like this. This is just me working for two or three days on the project, having to figure out the programs from from you know zero knowledge i'm actually very happy with the results so far because this is something that i do besides my real job so after walking the dog and um, put my kids to sleep that that's like killing your children right puts to sleep put to bed i think i didn't kill my children i they they were sleeping i have to google it so yeah, it was quite exhausting because when everybody sleeps here in this household, including the dogs, it's already my own bedtime, or at least it should be my bedtime. But around 11 o'clock, then that's basically when the fun begins. It's video game time with daddy. That sounds so bad. <laughs> it's not really relevant, but I didn't create the island with the tree and the windmill. I only created the water and it kind of shows because it's, it's very ugly. It's just a wobbly mesh with a material on it. And I'm not going to pretend that I understand how this works, but I'm very good at following YouTube videos. <laughs> but even if just 5% of everything that's happening here sticks in this monkey brain, then it's already mission accomplished. You learn so much by creating a simple setup like this. It's insane. So, all right, what's next? Um, when I started this adventure, I said that I was thinking about making a separate mini game first before continuing the Aiden Jr. game. But I'm not completely sure about that, to be honest. I, I think I want to dive into the basics of Godot first by adding some good looking water into it and an island that I designed myself with having the water actually interact with the island. You know, the way that the Wind Waker does it with the little foam edges around the island, that kind of stuff. Just, you know, figure out the basics. I am pretty sure that this model is not going to have a long life. I'm going to redo it and improve it, improve it until I'm happy about it. But it also doesn't necessarily mean that I will only continue whenever I got the model right. 
there's a big chance that I will start developing and slowly but steady replace things that I think I can do better along the way. Like I said, I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to make this a very short sprint just to make a viral video. I'm gonna make all the steps necessary to make an actual fun game. And I guess you guys just have to suffer alongside me by watching all the boring game dev vlogs. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. All right, that's it for the second dev vlog video. I don't know when the next video will be uploaded. I think around two weeks from now, or maybe one week, or maybe a month. I guess you just have to subscribe, like, say something nice in the comment section and, and find out later. All right, have a good one. See you guys around and bye-bye.